And we are less than one month away from the North Carolina Folk Festival coming to Greensboro. So it's going to feature a variety of genres and artists from around the country, including one young child with a big voice. Take a listen. My goodness, that was just too short. I oh, want to wow. keep hearing. That is 10-year-old gospel singer Caleb Serrano from Greensboro. What a talent he is. What a voice. Christina Evans is not here in studio with us because she is outside live from the field in LaBauer Park. Christina, you are chatting with Caleb ahead of the festival next month. Please introduce us to him. Well, Caleb, Jacqueline, you guys, I mean, Caleb, Jacqueline, Jacqueline and Audrey, I'm going to introduce you to Caleb, and you just heard his amazing voice. Every time I hear that clip, I think I just need to hear more, so I would like you to introduce you to Caleb now. He is now 10 years old, and you may recognize him, so he's a bit of a local superstar. He was also on Steve Harvey's Little Big Shots when you were only four years old. But now, Caleb, what grade are you going into? I'm going to the fifth grade. Fifth grade. You're going to be the king of your school. You're going to be at the big top of top of the school now but you've been doing this for such a long time so can you tell us just a little bit about how you got started singing and who even discovered that you had those amazing pipes well I said something to my dad and then I then I said something to my grandfather my grandfather started letting me sing with his with his group and then my dad saw that I could sing and he recorded a video well my brother recorded the video and then he, they uploaded it to YouTube what did you think? Because I know you had to be so young when this was going on. Were you excited to just kind of show off the fact that you could sing? Or were you just like, oh, this just feels like something fun to do? I didn't know what was going on. I just, my grandfather told me to sing. Daddy told me to sing and I sung. Oh, and so it's taking you so far already. And so you'll be performing next month at the NC Folk Festival that's happening right here in Greensboro. In fact, we're in LaBauer Park now, which is one of the locations. I think I'm going to go over there to that, or I don't know where I'm at. I'm, I'm over there, maybe. But you'll be here. You'll be at the NC Folk Festival, which is exciting. So what can people expect when they come out to see you perform, Caleb? Well, they can expect me singing more and more about Christ and, come, and coming to know Jesus if you haven't seen me. And so you do, yes, people need to know you are a gospel singer, and so that's been a part of most of what you do as a singer, your performance level. So who are some of those inspirations that you pull for? We know your grandfather has a band, and he gave you your first start, but who else do you look up to in the industry? I look up to, well, Pastor Shirley Caesar, the um, Bishop Paul Morton, and, and the late Bishop Rance Allen. Those are some of the people that I look up to. That's so impressive. And so we know you're going to be singing. Is there any other elements that you can sort of tease or surprise us with when you're going to be going on stage that we can get people to come out and watch you? Well, if you have seen me before, just know that I'm having a full band come and it's not just going to be me. Oh, you have a full band. Okay, so that's another reason to come out. So, Caleb, like we said, we've seen your career from the time you were four years old to now you're being 10 years old. What else can we expect from you in the next few years over the over the future? You'll be going to middle school, so we know that's one thing. Yes, but what album, else? An album. An album. Wow. So when do you when do you are going to be start working on this album? Have you already started? It's already started working, but we need some more tools and some more, like, singing and more music and more writing we need to do a whole lot so what is your favorite part about working on a studio album I can't even imagine going in and singing at it <laughs> just singing how many hours a day are you putting in in the studio two two just two and then maybe on Tuesday nights I might go back and record my live show you, so you have a live show, school work, and a studio album that you're all working on at the same time. How are you able to balance it all? I can't. <laughs> I got daddy over there that helps me. 
Oh, that's so sweet. So you have such a supportive family. And so, of course, if you guys want to come out and meet Caleb and see him sing, you can do so next month, September 9th through the 11th at the NC Folk Festival. Trust me, folks, you guys won't want to miss out on it. He's such a sweetheart, and I'm sure that you'll be excited to meet everybody when they come out. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to send it back to you, Audrey and Jacqueline there in the studio. Oh, my that goodness. That was so sweet. Please yeah. thank Caleb for us, Christina, yeah. okay, for taking the time to be on our show.